introducing pdf make to automate your pdf documents the powerful pdf document creator that makes your documents professional voices resumes and other important work. visit pdfmake.org getting started with playground so here we can able to see the couple of example basic texts few styles headers subheadings there are few more styles italic paragraphs different paragraphs we can able to see the multi columns this can be helpful when we are coming up with the documents three columns four columns again different styles each of columns then uh, tables tables in nested tables again some coloring fixed sizes different headings bullet points ordered numbers and ordered numbers starting with different number nested items and of course margin padding and finally important thing for any other any pdf that could have that is images with the different sizes backgrounds we can also just roughly go through the features the same thing and we can also go through the, how the document will look like so this will help us to come back and then uh, to check different blocks we'll just navigate uh, all the places roughly in the upcoming episode we will uh, go depth and then see how this we can expand when you are in a learning stage it's always important just navigate to the document so that you will have a comfortable options when you come back the second step will download the and clone the projects from the git always check whether it's a stable version or the latest version so preferably always choose the stable version so this 0.2 is the stable version as yes, is a uh, time recording then we'll download or clone the code so we, we are looking into the playground so that we can mimic the same thing in local downloading and moving to the respective folder and then rename it as required and zipping it or do whatever you want right now i'm creating a folder to move all the the temporary files then uh, keeping only the dev playground file in the main level just moving it here so that that this can be accessible directly we'll removing it now we can go to the terminal and then we can start our part here is the fun part again will install the package say that you can use npm or you can use on to install it so you might have seen the some instructions here we will just follow the same instruction so it's very simple as it is just will run on install or you can use npm install depends on your convenience i'm using yarn after that i'm also adding a pdf make um, so that uh, again we need not to come back and install it again because we are uh, uh, pick the playground then we'll go to that and then we'll run the project so this is the final part so, so we have already have a node man good to go if not you can install this will help us uh, to oh, if there are any code changes it will uh, redirect the changes and auto run again okay. I'm just looking into the file path. So right now it's server.js. So we are in the same folder. So we can uh, in not go back. So we can directly run Notepad dot server.js. Okay. Of course, the fun part starts again. So whenever you have a problem, so you need not to worry much. You just go to the place and then see what is the might be went wrong. So as we seen uh, the PDF uh, source and printer because we have moved dev dot uh, dev playground uh, from the the master so we are change that into PDMX so that that is the first thing and now we'll run it again so that 
node minus detected changes now it's running up we'll go to the port one two three four localhost one two four port number now again we have some other issues okay it's saying that no such a file are direct in this part yeah of course it's not there there is no such thing called pdf make or fonts in this part so we can just go to the temp folder and then copy the fonts then adjust the url i'm using ctrl d shortcuts to select multiple multi cursors and run it again again we have some other issues okay again the font path is not correctly set up correctly so i guess you seen here it is trying to look inside the pm fold pm fonts robot but as in our case we have placed inside the public folder okay so we'll try to console.log and run it again and see the directory so this way you can easily debug the part and then you, okay so this returns at the root folder of pm so now what we have to do we have to look into the path directory so this has to be prefixed with slash public so that the directory name is pointing to the root directory followed by public followed by fonts and then yes let's go back and then check yes wow we got it now again we'll check all the other place pages are coming perfectly okay super in the upcoming episode we are gonna see to work with text dimensions and also we will try to design some parts